Dog fans, welcome back to another Islander Outdoors video. Continue with my shark series. So off the back of my last video, uh, I was kind of hoping that Nakumi, the great white shark, uh, potentially headed for Europe or Britain, uh, would have pinged by now. Uh, last ping was April the 11th, and still here in May, May the 8th now, nothing. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Let's find out, shall we? Nakumi, the great white shark, potentially heading for Great Britain. You're probably wondering the same thing I'm wondering, which is, where is she? So there's a few theories as to why Nakumi's tracker hasn't pinged for almost a month. Uh, first theory is that the tracker has uh, fallen off, which is possible, but having seen how O-Search attached them, you know, they're, they're they're on fairly robust, and if you think of their Mary Lee shark, it was on there for nearly five years. Uh, we, of course, we need to look at the battery. Has it run out of battery? So, Nakumi's tag was put on in October 2020. So, you know, it's not even been on a year yet, so I doubt very much it's run out of battery. However, there might be some sort of technical failure. I don't know, water might have got in. Uh, I don't know. We all have electronic devices that can fail. Another theory that orcas uh, have eaten her, attacked her, or of course sharks, sharks eat each other. They have cannibalistic behaviors. Uh, possible, but you've got to remember, Nakumi is 50 years old. So based on that, she's not survived 50 years to be nailed by, you know, shark six months after we tag her or an orca. I think she's probably intelligent enough. The other theory is related to the fact that she's uh, expecting and she's pregnant. You know, we don't know much about shark, great white shark gestation periods. Bull sharks we know loads, brackish water. But great whites no one really knows. Maybe she's gone deep. Maybe she's gone really deep uh, to get away from predators. I don't know. Uh, sharks can get up to 10,000 feet there, they've been tracked that deep, so, I mean, she might just be in the depths. So it is feasible that she just hasn't returned to the surface, I mean she's 50 years old. Great white sharks are believed to live uh, up, to, up to 70 years, so she's been doing this a long time, she's probably spent a lot of time doing similar routes. Uh, being out where she is. A bit of noise now with all the boats coming in and out. If you look at her data from October, uh, it does appear that she was surfacing quite frequently, sort of every three to five days. I mean, her last pings before uh, she went missing, she obviously, her last ping, 11th of April, uh, she pinged on the 8th of April, the 7th of April, the 5th of April. Her biggest distance travelled, um, which is probably her biggest time gap, uh, was between March the 16th and March the 21st. So again, that's not a month, something's going on. So if we look at the distance she's covered between March the 8th and April the 8th, so that's roughly about the time span as she's been missing in action. That's quite a distance. So based on that, she could easily be back stateside in the USA, somewhere near Canada perhaps. She could be on the west coast of Africa, she could be in Spain, or is she heading towards Great Britain and Ireland? I mean, that's what we'd like to believe. We know orcas do kill great white sharks. Look at the research from South Africa as to why great whites are leaving there. They found five great white carcasses uh, in this one bay area alone. So, you know, they do fear orcas. On the Osearch website, why do some sharks have more pings than others with their trackers? Uh, their answer is, sharks each have their own habits in terms of how much they spend at the surface. For example, depth data from Mary Lee's accelerometer, she was a great wipe, 
is a great white, <laughs> uh, show that she spent 8.62 minutes per hour near the surface in the first few hours after her release. Uh, Jeannie spent 0.45 minutes per hour near the surface and Lydia spent 4.85 minutes per hour near the surface. Sharks, do they need to surface? It's been asked in the comments of previous videos. I'm gonna give you some answers. Sharks do not breathe oxygen from the air with lungs like dolphins do. Uh, so for this reason, sharks do not surface for to breathe. Since sharks have gills, uh, they do not need to go to the surface to breathe. Most shark species swim fairly close to the bottom or mid-water, uh, the large expanse of ocean between uh, the bottom and the surface. Uh, left to its own devices, however, most sharks will not approach the surface at all. I urge you guys to get the O-Search app, uh, the shark tracker. Uh, you, from there, you can, you can check Nakumi, you can check other sharks, tiger sharks, bull sharks, makos. You've even got a couple of dolphins and turtles. It is good fun. How long does a shark need to surface to get a ping? So the SPOT tag, a wet dry switch, needs to be dry for a minimum of 90 seconds uh, during which three consecutive pings uh, must occur to get an accurate geo position location through a satellite. If you haven't already, check out my Great White Sharks in British Waters documentary. Um, it's all about the viability of Great Whites in British Waters, food sources, uh, the technology, uh, water conditions. Check it out. Right, any updates, I'll let you guys know. Let's get out of here before it gets dark. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I appreciate all the comments. Cheers.